My name is Chris Carroll and I'm with Fast Rack Overland. And this evening, we're at Five Star Production Studio and we're gonna take a look at my 2018 Toyota Tacoma two-wheel drive. So let's take a look. With any Overland build, one of the first places you're gonna start is your suspension. Suspension is very important because you're gonna load this thing down and you need to be able to carry the weight. So what I've done with my suspension in the back is I've done the Dobbinson spring. The Dobbinson spring is a thousand pounds plus, which with all the weight I've got, I'm pretty close to that. I've also done a Bilstein 5160 reservoir shock in the back. So that helps with my dampening. Other than that in the back, that's pretty much all I've done with my rear suspension. Now with the front suspension, it's pretty simple. Basically we've done a Bilstein 5100 for the shock. Now, the spring is an old man emu. I believe it's 2884 is the spring that we use. One of the other things that we've done is a body mount shock. Now that's something I did myself. I have a plasma table, so we just cut it out. We make our own body mount chops. One of the reasons you're gonna want the body mount chop is when you're out in the trails and you're doing all the articulation and you're turning, it really rubs bad on the Tacomas. So that's one of the ways to fix that problem and not have any rubbing. Now with that, you're also going to have to trim a ton of plastic, but that's no big deal. All right, so for the wheel and tire combo, I decided to go with the Fuel Vengeance. That's a 17 by nine wheel. Now the tire is a Falcon Wild Peak MT. Now the reason I decided to go with MT, well, that's simple. This is Arkansas and we have a lot of mud holes and a lot of rough terrain. And the MT seem to do really well. So with any Overland build, one of the most important things that you can have is lighting because you get caught on a trail at night, you really want to see. So what we have for lighting on this rig, we have a 40 inch Baja Designs dual zone light bar. Now with that, we also have the Squadron Sports right here for ditch lights. We also have the same thing down here for our fog light. So for front lighting, I have these bad boys here. This is the Baja Design LP9s. Absolutely love these lights. These lights alone, they can do it all for me. But these bad boys are mounted on this bad boy. This here is a Backwoods Bumper Highlight Series front bumper. Now I also have the Highlight rear bumper as well. Now the winch tray on this particular bumper here is actually made out of steel. And that's great being a winch tray. Now for a winch, I have the Warren VR8500 and I also have the Warren Epic hook. You just can't beat a hook. So one of the other things I've done is this Toyota emblem right here. I made this myself and it's backlit red. It's pretty cool. So these here, nothing special. Raptor lights, got them from Walmart, stuck them in there. The other ones I kept buying, they kept burning out. So these cheap Walmart lights have done me good. As far as lighting goes, one of my favorite things on the whole entire truck is my rock lights. I absolutely love these things. When you're sitting around the camp or the campfire and you got these things on, it's just enough glow to actually light up the camp. And I bet you're wondering, how did those come on? Well, my buddy Jacob turned them on for me with his phone. We'll talk about that a little later though. Okay, so the other thing that we have here is we have the Anzo headlight right here. Now this is a switchback headlight, uh, two projectors. I love these headlights. Now when you're at the campsite, you gotta have a little bit of side light action right here. So we've got the Baja Design Sports. These things work awesome. And in conjunction with the Switch Pros, where you can actually dim the lights, you can't beat them. Now in the back of the truck, nothing really crazy. We do have the Enzo tail lights, uh, LED tail lights. These things are really nice. So for the bumper, we basically have the Pathfinder lights. Now the Pathfinder lights are by Backwoods. These things work great. They aim down at the ground. They're actually fit for the bumper. So we just went with them and they work fantastic. So one of the other things that we have is we actually have LED lights in the bed. Now these things operate with a pin switch, so when you open the tailgate, they automatically come on. But I also have a little control panel here, so I can turn them off if I need to. These things work great for loading up at night. You can see what you're doing. That's pretty much it with these. We got a lot going on back here. It doesn't really look like it, but we do. One of the main things is this. I made this myself. There's some companies out there, and you still have to leave that little bit of plastic right here. I didn't like that because I want to be able to wipe off just like that. So I made my own. The deck system. This thing is a must. The storage problem with Overlanders, this, this solves it right here. So in my deck system, one of the unique things that I've done is my 110 outlet is buried back here in the back. So I made my own plate here 
and we have 110 right here. The other thing I've done is I actually put an air compressor right here in this little ammo box, and this is my air connection right here. So one of the other unique things that we have is we actually have a water pump. So what we'll do here is we'll connect one of these and it'll go up to the water can right here. The other one will actually go to a sprayer. Now this works great for washing off pots and pans, doing dishes, you know, washing off dirty shoes or anything like that. It's just convenient to have it right there. And the pump is actually inside this ammo can right here. And we control it with this panel that I talked about earlier. Now you may ask, what do you keep in your deck system? Well, let's go take a look. This side right here is my kitchen. I have all my spices and a cheap bag of backup coffee. Don't judge me, that's not really, but it's backup. Right here, I have all my utensils. This is one of the pieces that actually comes with the deck. Uh, just basically have all my utensils and everything in here. Uh, back here in the back, Dutch oven, pans. Yeah, this is just kitchen on this side right here. Works out great. This side, this side's miscellaneous. In this bag right here, we have all kinds of straps and bungees. By the way, I love the perfect bungees. They're all over my truck, you're gonna see them. We got some fire starters, we got a hammer. It's just, you know, basically miscellaneous and tools. All right, so one of the other things we got back here in the back is the rack. Now this rack, I built myself. I'm a fabricator. I saw the prices of racks, said, you know what? I'm gonna build it myself. So on the rack, one of the things that we've got is a trail tool that's actually, we build those as well. And you ask, well, why would you need a trail tool? Have you ever went to a campsite and seen a fire pit that you just thought needed some work? Well, there's your answer right there. Then we have the good old shovel right here. Now the shovel, that can be used for many of things. One, use your imagination. Two, stoke your fire, perfect. We also have the old propane tank here. This thing works great. So we have a hot water system, we'll use it for that. If we're gonna be cooking a large meal, we know we're gonna have the stove running for a while, we'll just go ahead and use that thing instead of the little green cans. So another thing that I think is real important to have is fuel. And this right here is a four gallon Rotopax tank. Works out great. You can also see right here, this is a one-up bike rack. I know you can't tell it, but I actually ride mountain bikes every once in a while, and this is how I haul it around. <laughs> so on this side of the rack, we actually have a Pelican vault case. It's basically a rifle case. In this thing here, we actually keep our little gas cans for cooking. Uh, we keep uh, paper towels, trash bags, just miscellaneous stuff that we need to get to really fast. So I'm gonna say one of the most important things to have on an Overland truck is a rooftop tent. And what we have on this one is a CVT Mount Hood. Now this is the large tent. They actually have a small, medium, and large. So this is the biggest one they've got right here. Absolutely love this tent. As far as opening it up, I can be in this tent in 60 seconds. We also have the CVT awning. Now this is a 79 inch awning right here, color matched to match the tent. Love the awning. It's just that little bit of protection when you're out camping, it's awesome. What we have up here is a roof rack. Now this one, it's a one-off. I made this roof rack. The reason I made the roof rack is because I didn't really like the front of all the other ones. So this one here actually goes down to the windshield. I have zero wind noise. I absolutely love it. Plus I like the look of it. The other thing that we have on top of the roof rack is a solar panel by Renergy. Uh, I, think, I believe it's a 100 watt uh, eclipse panel. Uh, we have a WeBoost system. So this is my WeBoost antenna. Of course, we got the Max Tracks up here. Being a two wheel drive, yeah, we use those. And then we actually have our uh, Midland GMRS antenna. And then in the back, I actually have a CB antenna. Now, as of right now, I don't have a CB, but that could change. So right here, we have a cheap knockoff snorkel. I bought this thing from Thomas off of Facebook. He did work for Backwoods for a while, but he moved off, so we don't know where he's at. But that's where I got the snorkel was from him. And then we also have the wrap. So my wrap was designed by my buddy Robbie at Keg Media. And then the wrap was actually installed at Tory Sign Shop in Alma. So this thing right here, man, it's kick ass. Oh, I really mean it, it's kick ass. So what's in this thing is a shower tent. So earlier I mentioned that I actually have a hot water system. Well, this thing here, that's my shower. Basically unzip it, pull it out, boom, shower. And it can also be your toilet. So we've done the exterior, now it's time to do the interior. And we're gonna start with the Switch Pro. So the Switch Pro, 
controls all my lighting. And earlier you saw Jacob control it with his phone. So it's really cool that you got an app on your phone and you can actually control all your lighting with your phone. That's an awesome feature. One of the things that I made myself was my own molly rack for the side of my console. That's where I store, you know, important things like a <coughs> pew pew and uh, my winch controller and a few other little odds and ends. So I also have a battery monitor that keeps an eye on my house battery. That way I can always tell where my battery percentage is at. So another thing that we have is we have a flashlight right here. It's a streamlight flashlight. We use it if we're going down dirt roads and we think we see a trail, we'll just shine that thing out the window. So it's really handy to have it right there. One of my favorite modifications to the dash is the iPad. I love having my iPad Pro right there. So when we're doing trails and we got Gaia pulled up, I mean, it's just right there, easy to touch. One of the must haves in overlanding is your radio. And I have a GMRS. I have a Midland 40 watt and I absolutely love it. One of the other things I really like is I have a PA system. So I can holler at my buddies when I'm driving down the road, or if I need to give somebody a message, I can give them a little shout. Hey, you're gonna cross that creek, it sure does look awful deep. You better check it out first. So my favorite part of my truck has to be my seat delete. Check this out. Everything's organized right here. I've got my fridge, the medic of course. I got my Coleman stove right here. And this right here is where we keep all of our dry goods. So I also have an overhead storage compartment. Now it's pretty cool. I've got a molly rack mounted to it. So basically it can hold a lot of knickknacks and doodads. I've also got some paper towels up there. And on the other side, I've actually got my drone case bungeed up, which is pretty handy. So on the back wall of the seat delete, it houses all of our electrical components, like our inverter, our DC to DC charge controller, which by the way is a Renergy 500 watt. We also have all of our distribution and wiring and stuff mounted on the back wall as well. Now right here underneath, I've got some quick access stuff, you know, like your first aid and a couple lights and stuff like that. We got a broom tucked over here and we also got my recovery gear right here. So basically if I get out of the front seat, I fold it forward, pull it up and boom, I can grab my recovery gear right there. Now my doors, I've got quick access to, you know, things that you're going to use while you're camping. You got sunscreen, bug spray. Now I ride mountain bikes, so I got chain lube here and you just never know when you're going to need a machete at a campsite. Now, another thing that's pretty important to have is a fire extinguisher. You just never know when things are gonna go wrong. And a fire extinguisher mounted where you can get to it quick and easy is the best thing to do. And I also have some mobile GMRS radios because they're pretty handy to have while you're spotting people on the trail. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the walk around of the Tacoma. Now, I know we wasn't out in the woods, but we've had plenty of people asking about it. So we figured we'd get it done. But hey, I need you to do something else for me. I need you to hit that subscribe button. I need you to like it. I need you to leave a comment. Let me know if there's something that you liked about the truck. Let me know if there was something you didn't like about the truck or if there's something you want to see added to the truck. Now there's something else you can do too. If you want to support us, there's a couple different ways you can do that. One, longcreekoverland.com. That's where you can buy our merch. You can get t-shirts, hoodies, stickers. The other way is our Patreon. Patreon actually helps us too. It funds and helps us do these adventures. One of the other things I wanna do is I wanna give a shout out to Five Star Productions that allowed us to use their studio. And I also wanna give a shout out to my buddy Jacob of Eagles Overlanding. He's the one that put this whole thing together. He's done a pretty awesome job. Anyway, folks, we'll catch you later.